Namaskar, my name is Sudhashil Ghosh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am teaching you using Tinkercad. Today, in our Tinkercad lesson, we will use the breadboard, uh, use a battery to connect it to a motor and let us see how do we do that. We will go ahead and create our new circuit. And whenever the screen loads up, we'll have the working area here on the left side and the right side, the various components are there. We are going to load the breadboard. We'll take one battery. We will take one DC motor. We will take one switch. Okay, now let us examine the various components that we have collected. We have the battery here and the negative terminal of the battery. We will connect it to this particular row. Okay, and when we do that, the entire negative terminal of the battery will be shared over this row. So let us try to do that. Okay, so now we are going here and we have gone here. Okay, so now we have connected the negative terminal of the battery to this row. Similarly, we can connect the positive terminal of the battery to this row. The connections are complete. Now, let us talk about the switch. We first of all place the switch. Now, please remember that we cannot use the switch like this because since the negative terminal is connected here, this particular terminal is connected to the common terminal and the common terminal is connected to terminal number one. If I do this connection, then all the terminals will be at the same potential and therefore the current is not going to flow. So we are not going to use this particular area for connecting the switch. We are going to use this particular area for connecting the switch. Next, we are going to use the motor. Again, similarly, we are not going to connect the motor here because if I do that, then there will be no potential difference. So therefore we are going to connect the motor here. Now, in order to understand how do we do the connections over the breadboard for the motor, we have to note that this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal. Here, the terminal 2 of the motor, usually we don't have a negative and positive in the motor. It's either the motor moving clockwise or anticlockwise. So, this particular terminal needs to be connected to one end of the battery and the other terminal needs to be connected to the other end of the battery. So therefore, what we'll do is we will take the connection from this terminal, pass it through the switch and connect it to the positive terminal. So we will do that. So let us do that. So we'll take one connection from here and put it to here. This is terminal one. And now from here, the common terminal, we are going to connect it to this particular column and then from this column we are going to connect it to the positive terminal of the battery. So this has happened. Now you see the positive terminal is coming through this particular row, going through this wire, going through this wire and then this particular common terminal and then terminal number one going through this wire and coming here terminal number two. Now, in order to connect this particular terminal to the negative terminal, because we have already connected the positive one, we are now going to connect it to the negative terminal. So, I need to go here, let us say for example here, and from here I will take it to the negative terminal. So, let's click here, we'll click here, and we'll connect it to this particular area. As we have connected, now let us run the simulation and let's see how it works. We'll run the simulation, start here, and the motor starts working. We can try working with the switch and we'll switch it off. You see the switch goes off as soon as we switch it on, so the motor starts running. So here we have completed the connection of the breadboard with the DC motor and a battery. So switch, a DC motor and a battery are required to complete this particular circuit. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. We'll stop our simulation right now.